Hi, I'm Ashley from HomeLikeYouMeanIt.com. I'm a true color expert and decorator, and today we're gonna to talk about the best paint colors for small bathrooms. I know those can be a little bit tricky, can feel a little crowded, um, so we'll talk about my best paint colors for small bathrooms. I'm also gonna give you tips on how to choose the right paint color for bathrooms, um, you know, taking into consideration your finishes and your countertops and your cabinets, um, tile, what have you. And then I'm going to give you the number one best tip on how to make the sm any small bathroom look much, much bigger. So stick around. Okay, so we're gonna kick off this list of paint colors for small bathrooms with whites because I know whites are super popular now. They're always popular for a bathroom because it just gives you that timeless classic look. So the first color, um, I'm going to show you is Chantilly Lace. But you won't see much of a difference between the poster board and this paint color sample, but Chantilly Lace is just that crisp, clean, it's a true white, it doesn't have any undertones. If you are going with a lot of marble in your bathroom that has that cool white tone and you want white walls, you need a true white like Chantilly Lace. So the next color I've got is a softer white. This is the color that we used for our bathroom, well, actually both of our bathrooms upstairs. Um, this is an off-white, it's White Dove by Benjamin Moore. It is just one of the best, the softest whites. Um, it's not too yellow, it's got kind of a hint of a grayish undertone, so it works really, really well, especially with quartz countertops. Um, but that's Benjamin Moore White Dove. Next on our list is Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. This has been one of the top selling paint colors that Sherwin-Williams has of all time. It's super popular for bathrooms and you can see why. It's just got that really calming blue-green color. It's even got a little bit of a gray, which just really works to kind of soften it, make it look a little bit more like a neutral color uh, without being too washed out. It is a lighter color. It's got an LRV of 63, so if you want something light, Sea salt is definitely one to sample. Benjamin Moore Quiet Moments. Very, very similar to sea salt, which what I just showed you. Um, it's got very similar um, LRV in terms of light depth, light depth difference. It's also just a little bit more greener than sea salt. So it, it's that blue-green color um, that we love that works so well for bathrooms, but just like sea salt, it also has a little bit of a gray undertone, which just kind of softens it. So that's another really good choice for bathrooms. The last blue-green color on this list is palladium blue. Again, another really popular color. Um, there's no reason to mess with the classics. It's beautiful spa-like color. It doesn't really have that gray undertone that I showed you in the first two. So if you wanted something a little bit more pigmented um, while really kind of showing off that blue and green, palladium blue is definitely one to sample. Okay, next up we're gonna go over several of my favorite blue colors because I think there's nothing prettier than a blue tone in a bathroom, especially a small bathroom. But first up we have Benjamin Moore Whirlpool. Now, Benjamin Moore describes this color as a white, but as you can see, because I've got it right up next to a white, it is anything but. It is a very, very soft blue with a small gray undertone. Um, the LRV is 74, so it is extremely light when you compare that with um, off-whites, like the uh, um, white dove that I showed you earlier. That LRV is 82. So you've got a difference, a significant color depth difference between Whirlpool and an off-white, but it's still, it's just that small hint of a color. Um, really, really beautiful with marble countertops um, that have kind of that cooler blue tone. So this is Benjamin Moore Whirlpool. Next we have Glass Slipper. This is just a little bit darker than what I just showed you, but it's got more pigmentation. It doesn't have that gray undertone. Again, really beautiful with marble, um, beautiful with white subway tile, or if you're doing kind of more in the gray-blue family, um, glass slipper is definitely one to sample. Sherwin-Williams Trade Wind. You don't hear about this color a lot. I love it. It's just, it's really um, pigmented compared to a lot of the lighter colors that you'll see in bathrooms, a lot of the lighter colors on this list. Um, but it's still, it's perfectly fine for a small bathroom. And I'll give you a little trick, which I hinted earlier, I'll give you a little trick to, make, to where you can virtually use almost any color for a small bathroom. But Trade Wind is, again, beautiful with um, white subway tile, marble that leans cooler, um, your blues, your navies, if you wanna use accent colors in your um, accessories in your 
bathroom, this would be a really pretty medium depth blue to try. Sherwin-Williams Debonair. So this is a much darker color than any of the colors I've showed you. You shouldn't shy away from darker colors with small bathrooms. I'll give you a little trick at the end that's going to just, you're gonna feel like you could choose any color you want. Um, this is really beautiful, it's classic, it's timeless. It is darker though, so if you have a bathroom that has um, no, la no natural light or just a small amount, just be aware that this is gonna go darker in those bathrooms. So you might want to sample um, a lot of the blues that I've showed you and kind of see how they react in your light. Next on my list, I have Saybrook Sage for you. This is that quintessential sage green color. It's beautiful in bathrooms. It's a timeless color. Works with a lot of different color schemes. Um, it's more of a medium depth paint color. So it is gonna be darker, but again, you shouldn't shy away from darker hues in smaller bathrooms. Um, it's got that kind of like the silvery sage undertone to really kind of give it that really pretty sage color. So it's just, it's beautiful in bathrooms and works with a lot of different color schemes. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some neutral colors. And so neutral colors are a little bit harder to get right than um, saturated colors because you really need to make sure that the, um, the undertones in your cabinets, your countertops, your tile match the undertones in the paint color, that the neutral paint color that you're trying to put on your wall. So that's just something to be aware of when you choose neutral colors. But the first one we have is Sherwin-Williams Krypton. And this is, this almost looks like a blue paint color, but it's a gray paint color with a really strong blue undertone. It's more of a medium depth to dark paint color, so it will go darker in rooms that don't have a lot of natural light, but it's really pretty. Um, again, with those cooler tones like marble, or there's even some quartz that have kind of cooler tones, this would be beautiful with that. But this is Sherwin-Williams Krypton. This next color is Benjamin Moore Wickham Gray. I love this color. It is a gray with a blue and a green undertone. So you can um, you know, use it with more cooler tones like marble. You can also use it with warmer tones because it's got that green in there to soften it up. So it's really versatile, works with a lot of different color schemes. Um, it is a lighter paint color, so just be aware. It's not, it's not overly saturated, so it might work much better than some of the darker colors, especially if you don't have any natural light in your bathroom. So my next color is Sherwin-Williams Feather Down. This is a cream paint color with a green beige undertone. So if you've got um, a vanity top that kind of leans more towards this way, but you really wanna kind of freshen up that space, you wanna make it lighter, this is a great option to sample and works really well with those warmer uh, countertops or tiles. Okay, so next on our list, we have Benjamin Moore Classic Gray. So this is a really pretty soft grayish color with a green undertone. So if you want something that's got just a little bit more color depth than an off-white um, and your fixed elements, like any kind of creamy quartz, work really well with that grayish with a green undertone. Classic gray is a great one to sample. Next on our list, we have Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. This has been a very popular paint color for many, many years. This is a, a grayish with a green undertone. It's just a little bit more pigmented than classic gray. So if you want more pigmentation on your walls, but again, your fixed elements would work really well with that gray with a green undertone, agreeable gray is one to sample. Okay, so last on my list is Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. This is actually a taupe paint color. A lot of people think it's a gray, but it's actually a taupe. Taupes are warmer than grays, but they're cooler than beiges, so they're a really good in-between blend. Um, and if your fixed elements and your finishes, if you find the tile on your floor or your cabinets or your countertops have more of that taupe color, Pale Oak is a great one to sample. It's very light, so it'll freshen up a space. Um, it does have a pink undertone, so with taupes, you're either dealing with pink or purple, so you can't escape the undertones, but it's got more of a pink undertone to it, so that's Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. Okay, so as promised, now I'm going to give you those um, tips to enlarge, make, make small bathrooms look larger, and then how to choose the best uh, color for your space. So. The number one best tip on how to make a smaller bathroom look larger is to actually carry the wall color up onto the ceiling. So there's not going to be any 
you know, your eye is not going to be stopping at the ceiling to kind of make that bathroom look even smaller, even more enclosed. But if you actually just carry the color all the way up onto the ceiling, it, it enlarges the, the bathroom, makes it look much larger, much airier and spacious. So that is the best tip for making a smaller bathroom look larger. Okay, so now let's talk about how to choose the right color for your bathroom. So um, first we'll start off with just choosing saturated colors. So like those blues or greens or blue greens that I showed you, those are easy. Really what you wanna do is just make sure that you repeat the wall color about three times throughout the room. And I know a bathroom is small, so you're gonna have to kind of think artwork, um, accessories, towels, shower curtain, um, rug, anything that you can put um, on shelving or things like that. You just really want to make the color seem like it relates to what's already going on in the room. So that's when choosing saturated colors. Okay, now let's talk about how you choose the right neutral color for your bathroom because neutral colors are really where people run into a lot of trouble. So the best thing to do is look at your fixed elements, which in a bathroom, that would be your tile, your countertops, um, things of that nature. So anything that has, anything that you cannot change that would be too expensive to change, you need to evaluate. And then you need to make sure that the neutral color you choose relates to it. So for example, if you have gray blue tile in your bathroom um, and you wanna paint your bathroom a gray color, you need to make sure you choose one of the gray colors that has a blue undertone rather than a green undertone or a purple undertone because that's when you're gonna realize that oh, my tile is clashing with the wall, or this just doesn't look right, or things look muddy. Um, so that's really the biggest tip I have for you in choosing neutral colors for a bathroom. So that's it, that wraps up this list. I will link my blog post below. I have even more colors that you can sample for um, small bathrooms. And remember, you can choose virtually any, any color you want as long as you wrap that color all the way up into the ceiling. So feel confident about choosing really any color as long as it will go with your um, fixed elements and as long as you repeat that color throughout the room. Thanks so much for watching.